Joining us now for more on the White House reaction, bring in White House Communications Director Alyssa Farr, North Lawn of the White House. Uh, you know, Saturdays during the elections are normally busy at the White House, especially busy uh, this Saturday. We appreciate you taking the time. I won't make you play the name game. Let's play the date game here. The president says that you're going to move swiftly. What does that mean before the first debate? Well, Leland, let me just start by offering our condolences to Justice Ginsburg's yeah. family and friends. Uh, she was truly an American icon and somebody who I think is held close in the hearts of millions of Americans, especially women who honor her as a trailblazer. Um, but to your question, we're going to move in Trump time. He's uh, already put out a list of potential names ahead of, um, the, ahead of the justices passing of people that he would consider appointing to the bench. And so he's been very transparent with the public. Those names are out there. They're able to start seeing now the kind of jurists he would appoint. Um, and, you know, we're going to we're going to look to move in the coming weeks. I'm not going to get ahead of any announcements, um, but I think he's been very clear. It is his priority to put a constitutional textualist on the bench and to fill the seat. Just in terms of how this works timing wise and in, in 45 days out from a presidential election, especially this one, you've got to think of everything uh, in that frame. Uh, Tim Alberta, the author of American Carnage, wrote this overnight. Informed by the experience of 2016 and polling to suggest slippage among some of those voters, meaning those who voted in 2016 for the president because of how he treated the Supreme Court, he, meaning the president, could become convinced that keeping them hungry is the only guarantee of earning their support. After all, what kind of negotiator throws away a bargaining chip? There are ways for the famously disorganized administration to intentionally drag its feet. Is there a possibility that we don't have a vote before the election? Well, whether we have a vote or not is really a question for the Senate and for Leader McConnell, but it is fully this president's intention to do his job uh, under the Constitution and to appoint someone to this seat. And I would just know that, again, this president's not looking at timelines in terms, in terms of the elections. He's looking at following through on promises he made to the American public. He promised the kind, of, the kind of justices we would put on the Supreme Court. We've seen two of those picks already. We're not looking at artificial timelines. We're looking at just doing our job for the public, and the date of the election is ir irrelevant to that. Our Hard, hard to imagine the date of the election is irrelevant for, for anything right now, but your, your point's well made. Uh, in terms of who he's going to pick, you, we picked three names from the list. This is from our John Roberts uh, reporting. Uh, Logo, Coney Barrett, and uh, Jones Rushing uh, were put out. I want to ask you to comment on any one of them specifically because you made your point that the president's put out his list of people uh, that he would pick. But we began this with you talking about Ruth Bader Ginsburg and the president's admiration for the justice. He said that last night in his statement. Is there any discussion this morning about that it being important to pick a woman? Listen, the president's looking at the credentials of jurists um, and all sorts of different factors. I think it would be excellent if it were a woman, but we're not going to lock ourselves into any sort of commitments um, now on that. Um, I think there's plenty of people who think that would be a good choice, but he's put out a long list of very, very qualified jurists, men and women, that he'll pick from. Yeah, well, no, noteworthy that Alicia was talking to uh, John Garamendi, the Biden surrogate, in the last hour and uh, couldn't nail down whether the Biden campaign would even put out a, a list uh, as uh, the Trump campaign and then White House has. Alyssa, we appreciate your time. Now you got to get back inside to work. Thank you. Thank you.